Antony and Cleopatra are in the fight of their lives. Antony stands ready, but the Queen of the Nile seizes the initiative, starts her attack, and rolls a nat 20, slaying the Beholder! Woo! Wait, what? This isn't the Battle of Actium, it's Dungeons and Dragons? Okay, this of course isn't accurate, except for the 20-sided die. You see, polyhedral dice were common in the ancient world, including ones we'd recognize like 4, 8, 10, and yes, even 20-sided dice, known as icosahedrons. And the oldest icosahedron, held in New York's Metropolitan Museum of Art, actually dates around the time of Cleo, Antony, and Caesar. And we know that ancient dice were indeed used for games. In fact, back in 2014, Turkish archaeologists found a set of dice and gaming tokens dating around 5,000 years old. But dice could also be used as religious objects. Ancient people cast knuckle bones and lots for prophecy. And we know that dice were used for this purpose, with numbers or number sequences leading to specific prophecies in books. Plus, dice could even have names of gods on their sides, showing who you should appeal to about a specific problem. To roll for brand new history videos each week, hit that subscribe button. You know, critically if possible.